Hey, this is Dennis with Home Rehab Pros. Hope you're having a great day. But I have a task that I have to look at. It's really an estimate that I have to put together. And it's to glaze this tub. So, you know, normally what I'll tell everybody is if you have a task like that, just muster up the courage and let's just do this. In fact, let's do it together. Well, I'm not going to say that. This is one of those rare tasks that I believe you should probably get an expert, a contractor, someone who's experienced at doing this. And I'll talk about the reasons why. But before we really get started, let's take a good look at the tub and let's understand why we have to glaze this tub again. So let's take a closer look. As you can see, definite pock marks where whatever material they used when they did glaze this the first time, I'm not sure they glazed it. They may have just painted it. And we can talk about what the difference is, but see, all that has to be fixed. Uh, we even have some, evidently they, they glazed the existing wall tile that was gold and they glazed it or painted it white at the same time they did the tub. And even down on the base of the tub, you're gonna see, uh, see it's all chipping away, the finishes wore off. Uh, even in the back of the tub, uh, there you go, it's all chipping away. Now, interestingly enough, let's take a look at something here. Let's say this is all we had. Do we have to glaze the whole tub for that? Absolutely not, we can use touch-up paint uh, for those who want to, appliance paint can work relatively well for a touch-up like that. But in general, as you can see, this tub is in definite need of a glaze, of a professional glaze. So now that you've seen the damage on the tub, why would I say that you shouldn't do this yourself? I mean, you could buy kits at Home Depot and, or Lowe's, and if you want to, you can go ahead and give it a try. If you do, please follow the directions clearly. For example, the damage that you saw to this tub, my guys are going to come in with palm sanders, with sandpaper. They're going to sand all those pock marks down. They're going to sand all that damage down. Uh, they're going to clean it with an acetate. They're going to make sure that the surface is going to be bondable to the epoxy that we use. We also don't use the Home Depot or Lowe's kits. We get the two-part mix epoxy from Sherwin-Williams, to be honest with you. We also have a sprayer uh, dedicated to the paint that we use to glaze tubs. We keep it clean. We don't get uh, clogs or anything like that in our nozzles because we maintain it very well. This is just one of those things that to really get a good finish, a professional is probably what you could use, uh, what you should use to do that task. So now you've seen the damage to the tub. We've talked a little bit about what we have to do to fix it. Our next video in this series, we'll be watching Jason actually glaze this tub. He's going to mask it off. He's going to put plastic all around it. He's going to do all that prep work. Then he's going to spray the tub. Then he'll let it sit for a day. Then he'll come back. He'll take all that plastic off and he'll clean the tub again and he'll caulk it all so that it's watertight. So hopefully, uh, this has been a little helpful. If you have a tub that's been peeling or and you're, you're not sure what you want to do with it, so just make the right calls, uh, educate yourself, and if you do it yourself, just muster up the courage, but, but do it right. And if you have a little bit of trepidation about that, just call a professional and they'll make sure they get it done. So it's been nice to have you watching. We hope everything is going well with you today. Again, this is Dennis with Home Rehab Pros. It, we'd love it if you subscribed, if you haven't already, and hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, and we'd appreciate that too. So until next time, when we'll see you in the next video.